Hello, my fabulous first graders. So today we are going to be painting our masks, but the first thing that we're going to do before we paint our masks is to get a black crayon. If you don't have a black crayon, I have some on the cart. And you are going to outline every single line that is on your mask in black um, crayon. So I'm gonna speed up the video right now so that I could do it really quick. Okay, so now you can see that the whole mask has been outlined in um, black crayon. Um, this is gonna help out in a couple of ways. Now, what I'm also gonna do is take my white crayon, and if you do not have a white crayon, I do have some on the cart. And somewhere on the mask, you have to put a design. It's gonna be a secret design because it's white on white paper. So you're not going to see it really well. Sometimes if you move the paper on at an angle, you can see the wax on the paper, but it's not going to be um it's not going to be really really well very visible. Um so I'm going to do a line going this way and I'm going over it twice. So I'm going down once and going back up. It's it's picking up a little bit of the black so you can see it a little bit. It's okay if it does that. It's okay if it doesn't. It's actually better if it doesn't do that because then it's like this secret design that you have in there that will show up later and it's like magic and it's awesome. So I'm skipping every other line and I'm doing this other line that goes the other way. So I'm gonna, oh, I missed one up here. So I have to do just a quick one up there. Okay, so I wanna do the same thing on the other side since it is symmetrical. Symmetry means the same on both sides. And I'm gonna skip one, I'm gonna do it here. You could do it on all of them if you want to, but I'm gonna skip one and see how it looks. Maybe it would be right there. Skip this one. Doing it up and then down again. So I do it twice on each side for each line, I'd go over it twice. So it's a really, I'm really pressing hard with my crayon too, so it's gonna show up. Now, sometimes you can see it, if I put it on an angle, I don't know if you could see that through the video. Through the video, it's kind of hard. Okay, so now that you have all of your pencil work done in black crayon, and then some secret designs done in white crayon, now you are ready to paint. So you are going to take one color, only one color, and you're gonna do the two sides that are symmetrical. So I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do purple. So it's best if you have your paints on the same side as your water because you wanna drip into the paints. You do not wanna drip over your mask and maybe do something that you didn't wanna do. So I am adding lots of water to the purple, so I decided that I was gonna do purple. And now I'm going to take my brush, I am going to put it on its side. Let me see if I could do a close up of this over here. Sorry about the, the noise. Okay, I'm gonna roll it on its side and I call this rolling like spaghetti. Now, I'm gonna roll it for a while because I want there to be a lot of paint on here. Right now there's a lot of water on here with a little bit of paint. I want there to be a lot of paint on here. So I'm rolling like spaghetti for a pretty long time. The more you roll, the more of the pigment or color gets mixed in with the water and mixes onto the brush. So it makes it a thicker paint. It makes it a more vibrant color, a more bright color. So I'm rolling like spaghetti, rolling like spaghetti, rolling like spaghetti. Okay, so now I'm gonna back it up again so that you could see. Now I'm only doing one side. I'm starting with one side. I'm not doing both sides. Now, if I do this purple, 
I cannot do this purple. I cannot do this purple because it shares a wall. Do you see that? It shares a wall. Let me get closer in on this. So I am going to do this purple right here and see how... <gasps> Did you notice what just happened? The secret magic happened. And sometimes it doesn't happen as much. But if you see the, the wax where it was really thick, pushed the paint off of it. Said, paint, get off of me. I don't like you. See, I went over that twice and it no longer has the power to push it off. It doesn't, it's just when you go over it once, it has the power to push it off. So I'm gonna wash my brush, I'm gonna get some more paint on here, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip this one, because remember, this one cannot be purple. So I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go up, and that was pretty good, pushing the paint off. Ooh, nice. So you could see my secret, secret design. Gonna get more paint, I'm gonna go up here, and get over here a little bit. That was pretty good. It means that I really pressed down on the crayon well. Um, if you don't press down on the crayon very hard, your secret designs will not show up. If you have too much paint on your brush, it's too powerful. It will not um, push it off because it, it's too much paint to push. And I'm just gonna do this last one real quick. Okay, cool. So that side is done for purple. I'm going to switch it around to the other side. Remember, you can switch your painting around so that it's closer to your paints. If I was getting purple and then going all the way over to the other side, I might drip in a place that I don't want it to drip. So I'm going to turn it around and get a little bit of purple. And I want to do the same part that has the magic. Oh, that was way too much paint. Do you see that? That way too much paint. It didn't show up at all. So I'm going to get a little bit of water. And now I'm going to go over here. And that is perfect. Look at how it's just pushing the paint off, saying, get off of me. Nicely done. That's perfect. Good. Got to get more paint. I hope it's not too much paint. I hope it still pushes off. Can you see the bubbles that form? Like the bubbles that are forming in here that pushes it off, but sometimes it's too much to push, so it pushes it into like a little island of itself with the bubbles. So I'm almost done with the purple. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. Now my brush is a little um, dry. You never want a, br a dry brush. So just re-wet it, get some more paint if you need to get some more paint, but you constantly have to get more water on your brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Oh, that's nice, pushing it right off there. That is called Crayon Resist. So now that I have the purple done, I wanna pick a different color. I'm going to dip my brush in here. Maybe I'm going to get something that's next to purple on the color wheel. So I could either pick blue or I could pick red. I think I'm gonna pick blue and maybe this blue right here. So if you see, can you see this blue? Okay, so I'm putting my brush in here. Oh, I don't wanna overlay my mask and I'm rolling like spaghetti. I think I need more water actually. I'm gonna put more water in there. Water, water, water. You always have to have lots of water. Roll like spaghetti, roll like spaghetti. Remember that I did it for a long time with the purple, I'm doing it for a long time with the blue. Roll like spaghetti. Okay, so now I think I have enough. I have my paints right next to where I'm going to paint and I'm gonna go right up here. Now, if you go over the black, see I went over the black a little bit. It actually doesn't stick on the black, it's fine. If you go over the black on this side, that's fine. 
because we are going to be cutting this pull part out. No worries. And people go over the lines sometimes. That's no, no problem at all. You want to stay in the lines as much as you possibly can, but accidents happen. No one is perfect. I'm going to go around here. I could go right off of that. Oh my goodness. Right off. I don't want to go in the eyebrow. Obviously that has to be a different color because it shares a wall with the blue. So it cannot be blue because you can't have two of the same color separated by a black line because then you're messing up your, um, your design, your whole design is messed up. So you don't want that. I'm going to switch my mask around. Yes, it's upside down. Upside down masks are fine. So I'm going to do the blue over here. And the blue over here, trying to be as neat as I possibly can. Notice I'm not smashing my brush down. I'm using the tippy toes of my brush like she is a ballerina. She is only on her tippy toes. Dancing around my paper on her tippy toes. I am not smashing that brush down. If you don't have enough paint on your brush, it's because you don't have enough water. Get more water, put it on your paint and roll like spaghetti again. I rolled like spaghetti a lot for in the beginning, so I don't really need to do a whole lot more. I am gonna add a little bit of water though for this last one, because I am running out of water. Last one. Okay, good. Okay, if you have one section done today, you are fine. If you have two sections done, I have this section and this section's done, you are primo in great, great shape. Now I left this last section because it's really complicated and I want to take time to do this. So I'm gonna do this one section next time. I'm gonna wait for next time to do this more complicated section. Okay, so I am done for the day. I can put this on my on uh, the cart and I can uh, clean up. So you're going to dump your little tray of water in the yellow bin, just like last time that we did that. You're going to put your dirty brush in the dirty brush bin on the cart. All materials go back to the cart. You are going to put your paint tray back on the cart open so it can dry for the next class. I hope you guys all remember um, how to do all that stuff. It all goes back on the cart. So I will see you. Good luck, guys. I hope you have lots of fun.